What is up everyone, it is Sacred Zone here, welcoming you back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing my What If YouTuber tier list, as personally, I just wasn't able to get out a regular What If today. So this video is completely unscripted, and I'll be giving you my honest opinion on where the Dragon Ball What If YouTubers here are on my tier list. So to make it as completely fair and unbiased as possible, I watched the most recent video of every single person on this tier list and I've written down some minor notes on each of them so I can accurately depict where they will be. So starting off on the S tier we have Smugstick. So Smugstick he has like great story writing and editing I must say. He's definitely greatly improved from where he was before and personally he's at the top of my tier list. Second on the S tier we have Rising Fist, great visuals and great voice acting in his stories along with the story itself being great but personally I just have Smugstick above him thanks to one he has he uploads more than Rising Fist and two just I prefer Smugstick's stories over Rising Fist's in my personal opinion. Next on the list we have Carfu's Dojo. Carfu makes his stories really realistic which I personally do like and Obviously mine can sometimes not be the most realistic, but I really do enjoy his videos, especially the What If Goku Was Sent to Beerus' World 1. That was probably my one of my favourite What If series from any channel, but yeah, he definitely deserves to be on the S tier and in the top 3. Next up, we have Salad Saiyan. He was close in the top 3, I was like, I wanted him to put him up there because he is one of my favourite What If YouTubers. He's one of the inspirations along with... Smogstick, Carfu, and Masako X, who is up next. And his videos are really good. Like, you guys should all check him out. Obviously, my name is sort of derived from his, you know, Sacred Saiyan to Salad Saiyan. But yeah, he definitely deserves in the S tier. He has really fun and cool ideas for his stories. And he has a good editing style, which I would say is definitely far better than mine is right now. But, you know, I'm on my way there. Next up we have Masako X. He has great stories, he has great voice acting in them. The only thing that holds him back from being in the top 3 is just simply that he doesn't have that many visuals. Like most of the time it is just his face on camera and then like every so often there'll be like one or two images that pop up on the screen. If he had more visuals then he would easily be in the top 3. Unfortunately he doesn't but his videos are still amazing, he's still in the top 5. And you guys should definitely all check him out, which I'm pretty sure you all have, since he's the biggest What If YouTuber. But, you know, you guys should definitely all check him out if you haven't. He's a really good YouTuber. And up next, we have a surprising person in the S tier. We have Geeks for Fun. His What If The Saiyans Were In DC is an amazing series. Like with Carfu's What If Goku Was Sent To Beerus World, Geeks for Fun's What If The Saiyans Were In DC is just one of my favourite series of all time. It is absolutely incredible. You guys should definitely check out his channel. That series especially, since it is absolutely incredible. And he deserves to be in the S tier, even though he doesn't have nearly as many subs as anyone else in it. Up next, we have Saiyan Scholar. And the reason for this is, he has very good storytelling, and he has a great understanding of the characters when he makes what ifs. The only thing that prevents him from being in the S tier is simply the fact that he doesn't make a lot of what ifs. If he made more what ifs, and more frequently, then he would be in the S tier. But unfortunately he just doesn't, so that just slightly holds him back from getting in there. But like I said, he has a great understanding of all the characters, and he has great storytelling. It's just, he doesn't make enough what ifs to be put into the S tier. Up next we have Plus Ultra Man. Um, so Plus Ultra Man here, he has good storytelling and decent editing. Yet again, um, I'm pretty sure the last what if he made, like especially on Dragon Ball, was some time ago. As you'll see later in the video, some of them are prevented from being in a higher tier simply because of the fact that they just don't upload what if as much. Up next we have Ty Learn. He has good storytelling and good editing, but not really much more I can say here that he definitely deserves his spot in the A tier. He should get more views, honestly. Because like he has like forty thousand subscribers, he needs like, he deserves more views than he's getting right now. So if you guys haven't subbed to his channel, then you should, because he deserves more views than he's getting right now. And up next, you have yours truly, Sacred Saiyan. 
So I think that I have good storytelling. You can care to disagree in the comments. And I have been getting better at editing. Ever since my What If Goku was a legendary Super Saiyan reboot, my editing has improved greatly. And along with my storytelling. So I think I deserve to be in the A tier. I'm always I I know for a fact I'm not in the S tier. Some of you may think I am. Some of you may think I'm even low on the tier list. But in my personal opinion, I think this is a good spot for me. And up next, we have Damon Watith. I wasn't sure to put him, like, above me or below me, but we are, in my opinion, pretty close. And just like me, I think he has good storytelling along with decent editing. So he deserves to be right next to me up in the A tier. Up next, we have Lytro Storm, who has good storytelling and good editing. The, like, the thing is, I would put him above me. Like, I would put him right here on the tier list. The only issue is, his upload schedule, like, it's just, it's bad. It's like what I said earlier, if people uploaded more, they could get higher on the tier list. If Lightroom uploaded more, he would be above me on the tier list, but just simply because of that fact, I just have to have him down there. But if he starts uploading again more, then he would definitely be, like, right above me on the tier list. Up next, we have our good pal Dragonstar Production. We did a collab with him a couple months ago. He's a really cool dude, and he has good storytelling and decent editing, like everyone else on this tier. I can't really say much more about it. I just think this is a good place for him up on the A tier, and I think he definitely deserves his spot. And finally, to end off the A tier, we have What If Universe. He should definitely get more views, he deserves it, because he does have good storytelling, along with decent editing like everyone else up here. But I just feel like he definitely doesn't get enough views on, a, on his what ifs. But you guys should definitely check him out if you haven't already. Now, starting off the B tier, we have Saiyan Motion. So, he has decent storytelling, so that means it's not on par with the people in the AOS tier. But it is still pretty good storytelling, and along with decent editing, that gives him the top of B tier. I was debating whether to put him like bottom of A tier or top of B, but I think top of B is better suited for him. Up next, we have our boy Omak Productions. He has great editing and decent storytelling, but the only problem is he has a terrible uploading schedule. If he didn't have a terrible uploading schedule, he would be on the A tier, guaranteed. But it's just, he, I don't even remember the last time he uploaded, it was just so long ago, especially on a what if. Though, a little promotion for him. On Christmas Day, he is starting a new series of Dragon Ball XYZ, which I do actually voice a character in, so you guys better check that out when it comes out. Hopefully, it's going to be good. I mean, I don't, haven't seen the final product myself, I haven't seen any of it actually other than my lines, but I'm hoping it's good, and maybe if he starts uploading again after that, then we'll see him crawl his way up onto the A tier. But until then, he is a solid beater. Up next, we have Lags What If. I was arguing if I was going to put him above Omax simply because of Omax's terrible upload schedule, but Lags What If is still really good with YouTuber. He has good storytelling, decent editing, but the only issue is, like Omax here, he also has a bad upload schedule. I think Omax just got bored of making What Ifs. I'm not sure why Lag didn't post as much, but. He's also been making art for me recently, so huge shout out to him. If he did upload more, like with Omac, he would probably be in the A tier, or at least at the top of the B tier. But yeah, can't really say more than that. Up next, we have Broku72. Someone who actually commented on one of my videos, I believe it was the first part of What If Goku and Tell Us Which Wins. I didn't really watch him before then, like I heard of him through passing in the community, but I didn't really watch him before then. Then after he commented, I decided to look at his channel. And I must say, he has got decent editing, and an, he de he definitely makes an interesting story. I would put him up higher, like maybe above Lags or above Omac, but I'm pretty sure he didn't upload, he, his upload schedule isn't the best either. And personally, I think Omac has better editing, and he probably has comparable editing to Lag. So that's why he's here on the tier list. And I just personally prefer lag stories over him, which is why he's below lag in the tier list. Up next, we have Essentially Black. He has decent editing, along with decent story, but like Omak and lag, he does have a bad upload schedule. But like his, is, I'm pretty sure, is even worse. Maybe like the same as Omak's or even worse. 
that he has not uploaded in a very long time. Like, I would say his, like, videos are comparable to, like, lags, but just because, like, the gap is so big. He, he deserves to be here on the tier list. He's still a B tier, but if he did upload more frequently, he would definitely be crawling up to the higher levels of the B tier. And finally, to end off the B tier, we have Dex Comics. So I haven't really watched much of him, but he does have decent editing and a decent story. But the reason he is this low on the B tier is simply because he doesn't post Dragon Ball anymore. He He's a Pokemon What If YouTuber now, so I literally can't put him any higher on this tier list. Now, starting off the C tier, we have Sensei Stealthy. Um, he could improve in his storytelling, but other than that, he has decent editing, along with some decent thumbnails, so he definitely deserves to be here up on the C tier. Next, we have Goten. He has decent visuals, and like Stealthy, he could also improve in his storytelling. And the thing is, I would put him above Stealthy, but the only issue is, Goten's upload schedule is also horrendous. But if Goten uploaded more, he would definitely be the top of C tier, maybe even bottom of B tier. But unfortunately, because of that, I have to move him down here to below Stealthy on the C tier. Up next, we have Anime Anorak. He could have better thumbnails, and he could also have better visuals in his videos. However, he does make pretty decent stories, and he is pretty underrated. And he, I also like the voice that he does, like the Goku and Piccolo voices especially. And even the Vegeta voice, so he's definitely like pretty good at voice acting for his videos. And like I said, he makes a pretty decent story, and that's why he's up here in the C tier. If he had better thumbnails and like better visuals in his videos, then I could easily see him going to the top of C tier. But unfortunately he doesn't have that yet, but I believe he can become better. Maybe even up to the B tier if he really pushes himself. But for now, he is on the C tier. And now finally, to the D tier. We're starting off with Vegeta T23. There's only one complaint here. Well, I mean, he could improve on his thumbnails. But the only real complaint here is that he only has one image throughout his entire video. He has decent storytelling. However, that ju only having one image throughout the entire video really does just ruin the experience. So he could definitely improve his visuals. And if he did then he would definitely be up on the C tier. And if he improved his thumbnails as well, then that would easily put him onto the C tier. However, like I said, only having one image throughout the video really does bring him down to the D tier, unfortunately. Up next, we have Goku T23. His videos could use more editing for the normal scenes, not including the transformation scenes. And personally, the stories he makes are just not my cup of tea anymore. Obviously, I used to make stories like him, like, I'm not putting him down here because, oh, everyone puts him at the bottom, or, oh, he makes fanfic, whatever, no, I used to do the exact same. It's just simply, like I said, he could use more editing for his normal scenes, his storytelling could also improve, Every obviously everyone's could improve, but I believe his could improve along with more editing for his non-transformation scenes. All around, he, he's not terrible, like everyone says he is, or no one on the D tier is terrible. But there's room to improve. And finally, we have Golden Saiyan. I didn't want to put him this slow, but Golden Saiyan, if you're watching this, having only the thumbnail throughout the entire video, come on, man. I know you can do better than that. And you can also improve on your storytelling. The main thing is, only having the thumbnail throughout the entire video, it really does bring you down. Like, yes, Vegeta only has one image throughout the entire video, but you, you only have the thumbnail the entire video like at least Vegeta T23's background changed every so often however you just have the thumbnail of the entire video which does definitely ruin the experience for me along with you being able to improve your storytelling this is personally where I would put you so guys this is my personal opinion on the Dragon Ball What Ifers on this tier list I'm sorry if you're not on this tier list then it is nothing against you I just either haven't watched any of your content or I simply forgot to put you on the tier list and for anyone who's like on the lower tiers or anyone who's on the higher, this is just personal opinion. Everyone has their own personal opinion. This is completely subjective, not objective. So if you think that you're higher, then let me know. If you think anyone's lower, then let me know. I want to know your guys' opinions in the comments since this is just mine. But with all of that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed my take on this. And you can let me know down below if you share my opinions or and if you think this tier list is perfect or if you think that there could be some changes. 
And with all of that out of the way, I would like to give a huge thank you to all the channel members that are showing up on the screen. If you would like to be a channel member and get shouted out like the other channel members here, then there is a link in the description down below to become a channel member. It greatly supports me and helps me immensely. With all of that out of the way, hope to see you all in the next video.